Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I got some of my Discord members to submit anonymous questions and we're gonna run through and give some answers. If you do wanna kind of submit your own questions, you can join the Discord. The link should be kind of down below in the description. Yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first question I have, do you like pizza? Um, yes, I guess, it's, it's okay. I, I don't know, like it's not my favorite food in the world, but I do like pizza. Moving swiftly on to question number two, what is your hidden talent slash quirk? I don't know, I don't think I have a hidden talent. I'm trying to think, like I, I don't think I have anything that's particularly hidden. I kind of just put myself out online, to be honest. You kind of just get me. I'm not a particularly remarkable human being. I don't really have anything sort of secret or amazing, I guess. I'm really good with directions. There you go. Like, I'm very good at when we like park a car somewhere and we go out for a few hours, I can kind of point and I'll know which direction the car is at. I know that's kind of like a weirdly bad talent, but I seem to have like a good, I don't know, I have like a good instinct for knowing how to get to places from where we are, if that makes any sense. It's kind of a boring one, but I suppose if we got stuck in, you know, a jungle in the middle of nowhere, then I would probably be quite a good companion. Not to toot my own horn, I would be like, that way, over there, that's our way out of here, bud. And then I'd, uh, I'd lead us to snakes and we'd die. Next up, we've got, what is your ideal outfit? I mean, like, right now, I, I've got, like, just a baggy football top on and some shorts. So I do like wearing that around the house. I guess a lot of the time, particularly like the colder months, I, I like wearing kind of, I put some like black jeans on, some white sports socks, and then just a comfy top and a hoodie. I guess uh, that tends to be what I wear most of the time when I'm going out. Like I, you, I'd be surprised if you found me out in much else, unless it's like middle of summer, then I'll obviously be in shorts. Next question is, what is your most unpopular opinion? Oh my god, am I gonna get yelled? <laughs> am I am I gonna get pelters for my unpopular opinions? Well, probably, yeah. Kick, kick, out, kick all the foreigners out. Get them all out. I don't really care for spaghetti bolognese. I think it's a very overrated dish. There you go, that's, that's a hot take. Turns out I like gravy on bread. That's another food one, but my Twitch chat roasted me for that. If you're British, let me know if you do this, but when I was younger, we used to have like our roast dinner. Um, my mum used to make really good gravy, she still does, makes really good gravy, it's like really thick and lovely. And you'd still have some remaining. So what we would do is you get like a slice of just like white bread and you'd use it to like mop up the gravy. And that was always a common thing, which was why I always felt like putting gravy in like a sandwich wasn't like an abnormal concept to me and apparently it is apparently that is like a really unusual thing so that's my hot take gravy and a sandwich is good where do you see yourself in five years um in a mirror haha <laughs> everyone makes the joke <laughs> i don't know uh in five years time so i will be 32 if you'd asked me that question five years ago i don't think i would have said i owned a house i don't think i would have said i was living in the uk I don't think I would have said I was doing this, you know? So, life comes at you fast. I Maybe I'll have a child by then. That's not something immediate on the horizon, but you never know how your opinions change when you're in your 30s. Hopefully I'm still doing this for fun. Hopefully this has gone somewhere maybe, or at very least I have some good memories to look back on. But ultimately, I just hope I'm happy. So if you're watching this back in five years, Will, you better be a happy man or so help me God I'm gonna time travel forward and kick you in the balls. It's not too dissimilar to some of the other ones. What is a thing, aka a trend or behavior that is considered normal in your society, but you will never do? I don't know, man. Like, I, I want to, tr is there anything that's like really commonplace that I don't really do? I'm sure there's like something, but I, I don't know. I kind of just live my life. I don't really do anything out of the ordinary and I don't try and judge people for doing stuff that they do. This is maybe a slightly deeper one than what it should be, but I think sometimes people do a lot of things that make them unhappy when they don't realize that they don't have to do those things sometimes. You know where people are always like, I've got this like, big list of responsibilities, I've got to do all this, I've got to do all this, and they stress themselves out, they get really upset about it. 
and I'm guilty of this. You kind of fall into like the rat race of life, and you know you think, you know, I've got all my human responsibilities. But ultimately, you're here like once, aren't you? You know, if you're lucky, you're here for like 90 plus years. That's not a lot of time, and I think people, you watch people get stressed out at like sometimes the most insignificant things, and. You, like people who like shout at like retail workers or get like huffy when their food's delayed at a restaurant and, and to be honest with you it's something that i'm trying to learn not to care as much about generally because it's like does it matter that much like am i going to be thinking about this in like an hour <laughs> let alone like five years no you're not you forget a lot of stuff that happens and i think ultimately a lot of your life is just kind of forgotten by yourself so i would say be a bit less stressed try and enjoy yourself more and do things that make you happy because a lot of people do stuff that makes them unhappy and i don't know why who is the imposter certainly not cyan S not cyan don't vote cyan vote vote red red sus uh do you want to get another tattoo if so what would it be uh, yes, it's my, my tattooing life is not over yet. I'm, I'm kind of one of those people with tattoos where I don't tend to get something like all the time. Like Lauren, Lauren went for a long, like a year or two years where she was just getting something new every couple of months, which is fine. I'm not against it, but I, I kind of like taking it a bit slower and like only get something when like the moment it's either in the moment or the inspiration to get something good hits me when this video comes out i am back home in jersey there's a chance i'm getting one then because i promised i'd do it on stream but that's not like guaranteed guaranteed you know what i mean like it's not not confirmed basically so we'll see um ho hopefully certainly in the next year i'd like to get another one uh, do you think you'll be able to quit your job and become a full-time content creator? There's some deep shit in here, you know. I've always been very honest about how I started doing this because I've been watching it. I've watched content creators since I was like 11. That's like ne it's nearly 15 years of just watching YouTube videos, watching people succeed in this space and do very, very well for themselves. I tried it when I was younger and it wasn't about money then. And... It's not really about money now. It isn't really about money for me because ultimately this betters my mental health. I was speaking to Lauren about this a little while back. This kind of stuff just makes me feel happy. Like I went three weeks without streaming when I was moving and my mood <laughs> noticeably decreased. I'm just like happy in the space and I'm happy when I'm doing this kind of stuff because it's a passion of mine and it's something I enjoy. Would I like to do it full time? Duh. Would I like to earn enough money so that I did this consistently as my job? Yes, obviously. And if I can make some money while doing it, and I have made a little bit, not enough, obviously. I still work a full-time job. I made a little bit of side money from this. Amazing. That's fantastic. But I, I, I've never gone into this with the sole aim of trying to make a living out of it. That was a good answer. Hopefully that, that tricks them all into giving you their money. Can I ask you a question? Yes, yes you can. What would you say is the coolest thing in your setup? Ooh. Ooh, I haven't shown the new setup yet. So, hello guys. This is the current setup that we are working with. It's actually not that messy. <laughs> it has been like very messy lately. You can see here we've got like, um, we've got the chest of drawers with kind of all our stuff on it, which I really like. Now we've got our two big pictures. I love these a lot. And then we come to like the masterpiece. We got the war station oil down there. Um, we got you guys' questions. I've got literally just Google open for lighting. And then there's me. Hello. <laughs> um, of course we got my setup right now. Ah, I think it's the three monitors. When we were clearing up to move house, I found a third monitor. So I just plugged it into my setup and it's been working fine. And that's probably my favorite part. I also got this cool ring light, which is very nice as well. So yeah, I'm just happy I got a new mic as well. So everything's like good. I like all of it at once. Did you guys enjoy that? I hope you did. And here we go. We move on to our final question of the video. Do you lick or bite ice lollies or ice cream? I actually don't do either of them. And I can't... <laughs> I can't do it without sounding incredibly sus, so... <laughs> I 
I suck them, okay? I don't lick. I can't even do the motion! I don't lick an ice lolly. I don't bite into an ice lolly. If you bite into an ice lolly, you are a psychopath. If you lick one, you are a child. You know, you just kind of put it in your mouth and go... <laughs> you know, and you suck. You suck on it. The same with ice cream. You know, you kind of like slurp the ice cream a little bit. Fuck, man! There's no way for me to sound good saying this. Yeah, there's no there's no way to sound good saying that so I will just say I lick my ice cream and I like ice cream and I want ice cream now. <laughs> That's all we have time for today guys. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted questions. I think we got through pretty much all of them. There's a couple I left out because there was a Grimace Shake question and it is July. If you submitted that, look at yourself in the mirror tonight and think about what you did. Anyway, thank you for watching. The outro music is probably playing right now. You know, the dun 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 dun